guys, welcome to another Pokemon Go video. Okay, so this isn't gonna be a normal Pokemon Go video. This is gonna be something a little bit different and something that I've kind of had on my mind for a little while and why you've probably seen not as many Pokemon Go videos on my channel is also really linked to something else that I was gonna do a separate video on and something else that I've been thinking about a lot, which is faking happiness. So I'm gonna talk about that second point first, uh, just for a little while, don't worry. So I sometimes see people say that we fake being happy in our videos, that there's no way we're that happy all the time, or that we must be hiding bodies in our basement or something because we just seem so happy in our videos. I can tell you now, we don't fake being happy in our videos. Like, if you look at it on the surface, we have a lot to be happy about. We're really happy with each other, we have a great relationship, we have amazing pets, we both have jobs that we love, so we don't have any reason not to be happy. But secondly, I think if we stop, if something stops making us happy, then we just stop doing it. So I played a lot of Skyrim when it first came out and I was uploading Skyrim every day. And then when the pressure to keep playing that game every single day got a little bit too much and recording it when, to be honest, I just wanted to play it privately for myself. I stopped uploading Skyrim for a while. And then when I'd given it a bit of a breathing space, I brought Skyrim Sundays back and I adore playing it again. And the same thing with Pokemon Go. When it stopped being fun, I stopped uploading it as much on my channel. And I kind of wanted to give an explanation to you guys about why I've stopped uploading it and what my reasons for not uploading as much are so that hopefully you guys can understand and that when you ask where are all the Pokemon Go videos, you can watch this video and kind of realize where they've all gone. So I think at the core, Pokemon Go has stopped being fun for me personally. I've got kind of five reasons that I'm gonna go through. Like I've written myself a little list to help me. <laughs> five reasons why Pokemon Go isn't as fun for me anymore and why I'm not uploading it as more. So I know a lot of you guys are still playing it and hopefully this isn't gonna like upset or annoy any of you guys and I do want you to know that if in future the app changes and it does start getting fun for me again and they add a load of new stuff then 100% I will pick it up and start playing again. This is very much about it in its current format and why it's just not making me feel that buzz that it did when the app first came out and I think a lot of people can speak for that. When the app first came out Ali and I would go to a park and there'd be so many people playing it. We would go to a place in London and no word of a lie there were hundreds of people playing it and not the kind of people that you would expect to be Pokemon fans. There were people from like all ages, just all kind of social and interest groups all came together to play it. I think what I loved about it is you could come up, to, you could go up to any of those people and speak to them, and they would speak to you like they were already your friends. They would say, "You need to head down to the bomb that park. A Venusaur has just spawned," and there was just so much fun. And I would, I would do anything for the app to go back to that state. I know it's probably not going to get there quite ever again, but. What, what, what was my thought chain there? There was a reason I was going off on one. I think it's just that excitement of when the first, when the app first came out. And even if those people weren't there, if there was new Pokemon in the game, I think that would bring things, I think that would bring some of that magic back. So I'm gonna go onto my list now because I've just touched upon it. So my list of five things, the number one thing has to be, and I'm sure a lot of you guys feel the same about this, there is still no Gen 2 in Pokemon Go. There's literally still no Gen 2. I'm not including those egg Pokemon, that's like, I wanted just a release of Gen 2. The app came out kind of, I think it was about in the middle of last summer, and we are over winter, like we're about to get into spring and there's still no new Pokemon in the game. I don't think you can expect people to stay engaged with a mobile app for that length of time when there isn't that much to do outside of catch Pokemon. This isn't like Pokemon on um, on Game on Game Boy, oh my gosh, I'm showing my age. This isn't like handheld Pokemon games where you can do loads of other stuff in the game. You can battle people, you can do all the gyms, you can do all this crazy stuff. In the app, it's so much more limited in what you can actually do. Yeah, they've got there's gyms, but it's not like Divina gym trainer in the game who's like a character with all this like interest around him. It is so simplistic. So the fact that they haven't added anything exciting to like reinvigorate the app is really, really sad. It gets to the point where if you've played the game as much as I have, you will know that there's really nothing left to do in the game. Now there isn't literally nothing left to do. What is the point wasting my phone battery, having the app on, having my Pokemon Go Plus on, when all I'm doing is catching the same Pidgeys, trying to like get a million XP to level up to the next level. That's just not fun anymore when there isn't other stuff in the game to do. So I think the no gen 2 thing is definitely my most known thing and that's point number one. Point number two is the seasonal events. Now I'll admit the last seasonal event with the starter Pokemon was really cool. I'm sure there's a lot of people like me who hadn't managed to get those final evolutions of all the starters and I honestly thought that they were doing that and Ali and I talked about this. We thought that they were 
doing that to help you finish your like original Pokemon list ready for Gen 2 which would launch kind of over Christmas or in the new year and it just never happened and now there's the Valentine's Day seasonal event which is like oh wow you can get like a, a Clefairy or like a Chansey and yeah that's great if you don't have that in your Pokedex yet but honestly for all the things they could be doing with this app they seem to be focusing on the completely the wrong area like seasonal event pink pokemon like i need a little bit more than that to get me like really engaged in the app i when i saw that news i was so disappointed i'm like this is the stuff you should have been doing a year ago when the app first came out to make sure that huge horde of people that you got to play the app kept playing it now they're all gone and you're just you're giving all these like extra cool little things to people that have already completed their pokedex like it needs to, there needs to be something more. So seasonal events, point number two. It's a bit of a funny one because I like them. I think they're cool. I just think they're too little too late. So point number three, it's a bit of a funny one as well. Like I know that Niantic and Nintendo want to make money from this app. And it's such a great app that so many people play that they were always going to make money from it. Like that was always going to happen. What I don't like is some of the stuff that they've done to try and like extra cash grabs from people. A lot of the people playing this game, they probably know are playing it for nostalgia and they're probably a little bit older and they're gonna spend money on this game. Fair enough. But there's a lot of people who are younger, like who probably don't have loads of disposable income to be spending on these pokey coins. And some of the stuff that the app has done has definitely moved towards trying to almost grab money from little kids a little bit, which I just don't like. One thing that they did was make Pokemon harder to catch, which of course meant that you were throwing more and more Pokeballs. And Pokeballs are quite expensive to get. And if you live in a city area, you've probably never encountered this problem before because you have loads of Pokeballs from all the Pokestops. But if you live a little bit out in the sticks or like we do where we're just outside of a main city and there's not really much going along around here. There's no Pokestops anywhere. So we have to buy Pokeballs all the time. Another really cheeky thing they did is when they added the egg Pokemon, so the baby Pokemon in the eggs, they were only available in eggs. They weren't available to catch in the wild. What do you need to hatch eggs? Egg incubators. So they kind of sneakily added this little slice of Gen 2 but only if you wanted to pay loads of money for egg incubators. Like, yeah, you can use your single unlimited use egg incubator and probably walk like 100, 200 kilometers trying to get a Togepi from this single egg incubator. But who has time to do that? The, th the point of that is you'd have to buy all these extra egg incubators to try and get your Togepi, to try and get your little Cleffa, Cleffa. Still not sure how to pronounce that baby. And it just felt like a really cheeky way to add Pokemon Gen 2 in the game, but only if you were willing to spend loads of money in the game. And then the extra like layer on top of that cake is, I don't know what it is for your region, but in the UK, they upped all the prices of everything in their Pokemon Go store. I think it was by about 25%, and it was really close to those egg Pokemon releases as well. So not only are we gonna make you buy egg incubators, but we're gonna put the price up for them as well. Like. I just think it feels a little bit mean when the app is making so much money anyway and when the audience is so young and you're probably gonna say like Claire wake up this is how businesses work and with a, an app as big as that of course they're gonna try and do a cash grab but to me that kind of it shows how they're viewing this app. They're not thinking we're gonna be really good to our customers because we're gonna keep them for five years and that is the life cycle of our app. They are more like, okay, this app's really big. Let's make as much money of it as from it as we can in the next kind of year. And then that will turn away so many people that they're just keeping this kind of really core audience who are willing to spend loads rather than this longevity audience, like this big audience who are passionate about the game. I don't know. That's just my thoughts and it shows that they're not looking at this as a long term, really exciting project. It's just this short term cash grab. So that's point number three. I realized I talked about that one quite a lot. So point number four is broken promises. So there's some things that Neantic said were gonna come to the app that never came to the app, or they haven't come to the app yet. There was a lot of talk about battling your friends. There was a lot of talk about trading Pokemon with your friends, and where is that? Like, well, what, three quarters of a year? Maybe not, maybe, I, how, I don't know how long the app has been out. Do you know how long it's been out? Uh, July it came out. July, okay, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. So it's been out seven months, wait, yeah, seven months. 
and I still can't like ask Ali to send me some dratinis. I still can't like meet somebody in the park and see if they want a battle. I can't do any of these things, which kind of sucks because it's a Pokemon game. You should be able to do all that stuff. It's such a simplistic app. And the fact that they kind of give us these little tidbits of information, say this is coming, we've got exciting news. Make sure you tune in on this date when there's gonna be a big announcement. And then you get to that day and it's like, oh, like you can get a licky tongue, a Pokestop m more likely than you could before. I don't know, that kind of stuff is just a bit disappointing. So the broken promises thing, is annoying, especially because Niantic haven't had the best track record with communicating with us and when all the issues with the tracking were out in the first place, they just didn't talk about that as well. The tracking thing as well, they were like, we know tracking is down, but it will come back and there'll be better tracking than ever. And instead they've replaced this kind of cool way, which is three steps. Let's walk all the way around the park and like try and figure out together where this Pokemon is to, oh look, here's a picture of the Pokestop you need to walk to to get that Pokemon. It's like, yeah, that's good for us because we can save some time and like run to the Pokestop and try and get the Pokemon. But it's not really the best tracking way. It's kind of like you either have no idea where these Pokemon are because they're not near a Pokestop or we're going to tell you exactly where these Pokemon are. They're right next to this Pokestop. And it's like, that's not what I wanted. I wanted something a bit more exciting than that. And then the final point, point number five, is something I've kind of touched on throughout, but there's nothing to do in the game. There's just not enough to do in the game. And I think playing Pokemon Sun and Moon once we started playing that game loads, my love for Pokemon Go started to drop off because Pokemon Sun and Moon had so much to do, like literally so much to do. It reminded me of how amazing Pokemon games are and how fun they are and that excitement they give you. And Pokemon Go did do that in the beginning, but because it's not been updating and adding new stuff, it's kind of, it's losing that, it's lost that. And it's a Pokemon game. It should be the most exciting game with so much to do and this amazing world to explore. And it's just not, like I really, really want it to be. So those are the points that I wanted to cover off. And I know it sounds like I'm bashing and hating. And I really hope you guys don't come away from this being like, Claire hates Pokemon, Claire hates Pokemon Go, because I clearly don't hate Pokemon Go. I've played this game like solidly for seven months and have had so much fun playing it. We've gone to some crazy places to catch Pokemon. We've had some crazy experiences catching Pokemon. We've been so excited, like when we got our Ditto or when Starter Pokemon's appeared in the wild or when we hatched like these amazing eggs like we've literally screamed and like been so so happy playing this game and i'm so thankful that the game has given me all that i just i want to keep playing this game i want this game to do well i want it like i feel like a mother with a child like i want it to succeed i so badly want it to succeed so right now there just isn't enough reason for me to play pokemon go and i know a lot of you guys are tweeting me asking for videos about the valentine's day update and I just, I don't want to go into that video and fake being really excited for this update when I'm just not as excited as I should be. So I think some of it is like, I want to be truthful to you guys and I hope that you've got that from this video that I'm trying to be really truthful and honest with you. And maybe you have the same thoughts as I do. If you do, let me know in the comments below. I'm really interested to know what your thoughts are on this as well. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I know it's been a little bit different, but hopefully you've still liked it. And don't forget, I've still got Pokemon on my channel. I'm playing Pokemon Go, uh, Pokemon 3D in Ark at the moment with Ali, having so much fun playing that. And I'm just kind of diversifying while I'm playing a little bit more. Hopefully you guys still like that and you still like my channel. But yeah, that's everything that I kind of wanted to get off my chest about Pokemon Go and why I'm not gonna kind of fake being happy for something that isn't making me happy, but knowing that if this app changes in future, and I really, really hope it does, that I will go back to playing Pokemon Go because I still love it, I still love it. And I'm rambling now, so hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you have and kind of let me know what you think. Maybe share it if you agree that with some of the stuff I've said in this video. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.